Hey everybody, it's Bucket Help here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Iconomy 5.0 and above for your Bucket server. Now the first thing you want to do is navigate to this page, and I'll put a link in the description for you so you don't need to look for it. And once you get to it, uh, go ahead and click the jar or zip right here these two links, these hyperlinks, they'll take you to a download and the zip will just contain the jar so there's no need for decisions between either of the same thing. So once you've downloaded that, either extract the jar from the zip or take the jar, copy it and put it in the my or wrong folder, put it in your server folder, then put it in your plugins folder and once you've done that, just place it in there and you go back to your main server folder and run this. And it's going to download another thing called an H2, H2, and it's a database. And you're going to see this the first time you run it because it needs to load everything, so it won't run correctly. You'll need to reload the server. And anyways, go back to H2. H2 is a plugin that will store everything that Economy uses. It will not download this if you have uh, what was it? MySQL or SQL Lite, it will use those two plugins as well. So if you have one of those two, it will not download H2 and it will use those. Now once you're done, go ahead and reload it. And as you can see, Economy has run perfectly. I'm not getting an error, so it's good. Good for us. So now that we stopped it, you can go to plugins and you'll see a new Economy folder. I'm going to be showing you how to configure it. and let that load, it's gonna take a bit. There we go. So let's skip all this text at the beginning and let's start. So this is the file, as you can see I've moved things around a little bit. Uh, so this is the first part of the configuration file. And by the way, I'd recommend using Notepad++ and you can search for that in Google to find it. It's a very nice Notepad plugin. So the first thing you're going to see is the currency right here. These, this currency here and currency here work the same thing. Excuse me, work the same way. The major is the dollars and cents. So you can think of this as major as a dollar and minor as a cent. So as the cents, I could have five dollars and forty-five coin. So that's how you think of that. But this would be cents in real life. Uh, this is the plural of the name of your currency and this is the sing or excuse me this is the singular version of it and this is the plural version of it remember this is the singular here plural singular plural so you can change this to anything you want as long as you keep it as singular here and plural here uh, so it does not look weird in your server you can change these four values. Just make sure that are single, or excuse me, still single quotes. Uh, your account is how much a, when a user logs in. This is how much they'll automatically be credited. Leaving it at 0.0, .0 will credit them with zero dollars. You can edit this to any amount you want, as long as you don't have more than three digits on this side. Here's the bank. The bank is when you can make a bank account in Economy. This is the a name of the bank in the game so you can call it bank or whatever you want the currency works the same way as up here except this is how much you'll it will tell you you have deposited or withdrawn when taking money from the bank I recommend that you have the same for both of these so it will delude confusion between all your members but you can have them different if you prefer the fee to open account and this is when a user opens a bank account they are charged from their total holdings twenty dollars and now they'll have ten dollars left but they would have made ten dollars because you are given thirty dollars as your original account when you make a new account you can change these values just like the holdings here as I said the fee is how much you charge to open holdings is how much you have in the account after you've opened it without depositing or withdrawing anything. So you actually make money by opening an account. So the next thing, uh, logging. 
and if this is false the economy will not log everything a user does to their money if they deposit anything things like that uh, this also works with plugins so if, as I said if a user deposits something into a town with townie it'll log that and you do need the uh, database called MySQL or SQLite to be able to use this function and that's pretty much it for that banking is if the bank up here is enabled so if a user can open an account in a bank it is a default false and accounts is if a user can have more than one bank account so if this is true they can have more than one if it's false they can only have one now interest this is if you have interest in your banking and if you don't know what interest is I go ahead and look it up on Google because I'm not here to explain you and to tell you what interest is now if it's uh, enabled it will give you interest and online and if it's true or false so let's say if a user isn't online they won't gather interest over time but if a user is offline they won't gather that interest uh, if this is false then either when a even when a user is offline they will still be able to gather interest so this is really telling you if you'd like your users to be able to rack up the cash without doing anything I suppose and this is an announcement if when you yeah, get interest and it's default at false this is interval between the time you get interest so this is measured in seconds so remember that you can't have five minutes you need to have it in seconds and this is the amount uh, so if you have a cutoff for interest so once they reach a certain amount of money in their account they cannot get any more interest uh, this is on if this is on uh, this has banks or players so uh, right now a player will earn interest on his pocket money if you have it on banks only bank accounts will be able to gather gather interest and that's more realistic but it is a nice choice to have this is the percent to have interest on and once again you need to know what interest is to understand this and I'm not here to explain that to you this is the maximum or minimum amount of random in between I'm not completely sure what that is saying because there is not a minimum maximum percent so this is the database is the last part and this is h2 sql right here and this is h2 or my qsl or my sql so that's what that's showing right here this is showing you the settings so this is the name of the database it's creating and this is the table in the database you will not be able to understand this part of the tutorial unless you do know how to use bat databases so if you don't know how to use them you don't even need to bother with this uh, it should have created it by itself this is what iconomy will use to access your database so if you have a password on it you'll need to put these in there so iconomy will be able to, will be able to access it and this is the host name of the database so if it's stored on the system you're using go ahead and put localhost it's not put the IP of the host and you'll need to put the port of the host if it's not your local host so that was the config and now on to the last or second to last parts so that was about it for the configuration or the config of economy uh, th I will give a link to this description or series excuse me not this description this web page and this should give you all the economy permissions commands permissions is a plugin that economy uses to give certain players permissions for different things uh, if I'm not here to explain what permissions is I will put a link to my other video explaining that as if I did in this video it take too long uh, and remember also to look up for this to find the permissions nodes and that was the tutorial on how to set up economy I will be doing a tutorial later on in-game usage but until then this is bucket help and like the video if you if it helped you uh, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and that's it so see ya